All right, guys, more now on CIT filing for bankruptcy. As we mentioned earlier, the CIT bankruptcy means a loss of $2.3 billion. That's $2,300 million in taxpayer funds, bailout money, welfare money, taxpayer largesse. A good number of small and medium-sized businesses relied on CIT, especially in the retail world. So what does that mean for the future of their financing? Joining us now is Bob Coleman, small business analyst and editor of the Coleman Report. Bob, first question, you know, I mentioned in the morning meeting, I think everybody had seen this CIT bankruptcy coming anyway, so anybody that was getting funds from CIT had already found some alternatives. Can you speak to that? Not really. You know, you're talking about one million small businesses in the United States. Small business lending this year is down 50%. The decline of CIT is a big part of that, and unfortunately, a lot of those CIT customers haven't found alternative financing. This is a huge blow for Main Street. But, Bob, talk about that for a second. We're not actually talking all one million customers needing to find financing. I mean, I think that would have put the market in a tailspin. This is a, this is a reorganization, if I'm not mistaken, right? Well, this is a reorganization, so we've answered the question, is CIT going to survive? But we haven't answered the question, hey, is there enough liquidity in the marketplace for CIT to get this money out to Main Street? And that's a huge issue. You know, the top 50, 60 percent of CIT customers are going to be fine. But CIT has built a great niche lending business, and there isn't enough volume in the marketplace to, to, to uh, come up with the slack. So that's an issue, I believe. But, you know, look at the bigger picture here. The, as Eric was saying, the market didn't have a blowout reaction to any of this. As Cody was saying, people were expecting this to happen uh, sooner or later. So a lot of businesses uh, came up with other sources of financing or figured that CIT was in question. So if they were a smart business, they'd figure out an, uh, several different options. So this goes to show you that, like, why did we really need to bail out CIT if they're not critical, critical to this economy that businesses could go elsewhere? And life goes on with the CIT bankruptcy. You know, Rebecca, we're talking about the fifth largest bankruptcy in the United States, and it's, eh, life goes on. This is huge. Um, but I agree with you. That, that $2.3 billion is, is an issue. And yeah. I, I uh, you know, CIT, I, they're, they're trying to do this quickly. They want to have it done by the end of the year. They're going to have some PR problems on this, and I don't think it's going to be as smooth as they hope it's going to be. Well, and Bob, you said it was a rich business, this lending to small businesses, but let's keep it real. If it were a rich business, this company wouldn't be insolvent. They wouldn't be sitting here wasting $2 billion of taxpayer money already and going into bankruptcy despite that infusion. This is a terrible business, a horribly run company. Let them be dissolved. What's the problem here at all, man? Well, here's the problem. You're a banker and you want to get money out, but when a GM and a Chrysler go bankrupt, you know, you know, then you're looking at small business. Of course, small business is taking its hits during this recession. Um, but a good majority of that small business, 85, 90 percent, are doing very well, and they're employing an awful lot of people in this economy. Bob, well, all we hear from the Obama administration is everything is great, the economy is coming back. But here's a great example where it doesn't seem to be coming back. We have GMAC financing last week looking for more money. Yeah. There's another financing group looking for more money. Maybe the economy isn't as good as it, you know, they would have you believe. Well, the, obviously you talked earlier on the unemployment numbers, but also the reality is the credit is still constricted. Um, we're yeah. down tremendous amount from last year for small business and you know CIT business model was based on 90-day commercial paper the question is are they going to be able to get that from the markets and lend that back out I think that's part of their reorganization that they are sort of being wishful about Bob, what does this mean for Main Street? The people at home are saying, oh, okay, great, another company filed for bankruptcy, another company that we bailed out, you know, been there, done that. Uh, you're saying that this, that CIT was so critical for the small businesses. Does this mean that more small, medium-sized businesses are going to be laying off people, that people at home should be worried about their jobs? Rebecca, not only are they laying off people, but you drive up and down your local Main Street anywhere in the country and you see business shuttering themselves. Just yesterday in my, my little town in the suburb of Los Angeles, there was another little business that went out, you know, that, that, that's gone. 
lost employment, lost tax revenues. We're not out of the woods yet. We may be in a trough. We're certainly, there's certainly green shoots, but we're not out of it by any means yet. Bob Coleman, thanks for joining us. On tap, guys, you, you know, with 